Hey everyone, it's Riley. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a really cool way to make hamster hideouts and accessories, and that's with paper mache clay. So paper mache clay is a basically a clay form of paper mache, and it's 100% customizable and moldable to whatever shape you want. It's also really easy to make, as well as it uses materials that basically everybody already has on hand. So let's get into the video. First, I'm going to show you how to make the paper clay, and it's really simple. All you got to do is pour boiling water over paper shreddings. I got mine out of the shredder. Make sure to completely saturate the paper and let that soak for about 20 minutes until it becomes very, very mushy. Then you want to drain as much water as you can out of this mixture and really be sure to squeeze all the water out. I mixed this up with a hand mixer to really break up the paper bits and create paper pulp. Then I added in flour. A rough measurement is one part flour to three parts paper. I also added in some salt to keep the mixture from molding or anything like that. And I added in some glue. I added about a half cup here, but you might have to add more depending on how much paper clay you are making. Then I mixed that all up again, and with a few minor recipe adjustments, this is what I ended up with. So it all depends on what you're going to make, but here are a few cardboard structures that I made to put my paper clay over. I made four mushrooms and one log, and I just layered the paper clay over these structures until I reached the desired shape. I would recommend creating a sort of cardboard uh, skeleton to put your paper clay over, because paper clay is not the easiest thing to mold when you're not placing it directly over something, if that makes sense. So it's just going to be a lot more sturdy if you've got a sort of skeleton underneath your paper clay, and it's just going to make whatever you're making a whole lot easier to form. As I was forming all of my items out of paper clay, they all felt pretty heavy because there was still a lot of water in the clay. So I had lots of trouble with um, the mushrooms falling over because they were unbalanced and stuff. It was kind of frustrating. So I was actually surprised to find that when the paper clay dried, it dried very, very light. So feel free to layer on the paper clay, it's not going to be that heavy once it's all dried. So like I mentioned earlier, right here I am making a log out of paper clay. I decided to do this because I don't have any cork logs, I don't know where to shop for them. Um, and I don't really want to buy them off Amazon because, in general, cork logs are fairly expensive. And Amazon, I just don't know how large of a cork log that I'm getting, and I really don't want to chance that. Um, so I decided to make this sort of mock cork log. I don't know, it looks nice enough. It's not really a cork log since I painted moss on it at the end, so I guess it's just a mock log. I don't know, whatever. I think it looks nice enough in my opinion, so yeah. So here are the items once I had finished forming them, and altogether they took about four days to dry fully. So I read online that paper clay could be sanded and the internet did not lie. I tried it out and it actually works really well. It didn't make a super significant difference as you can tell here, but um, if you got the tools I think it's worth a try. So now that all the items that I made were dry and I had sanded the mushrooms, I went ahead to painting. So enjoy this painting time lapse. I also want to say that the paint that I'm using is safe. It's 100% non-toxic and water-based. Well, I don't know how something would be 99% non-toxic, but anyways, 
um, it's safe. So if a hamster chews on it, they're going to be fine. After painting here's the finished product of the log i really like how it turned out as well as i like the texture of it and the moss i painted on it i think it gives it a cool touch off camera i went ahead and painted the inside of this log as well as i painted the inside with mod podge just to seal the paint and everything here are the first two mushrooms i painted and i painted these with mod podge as well off camera the same thing goes for these two mushrooms my personal favorite is the one on the left Here's just a view of my hamster items in the cage. It was really fun making my own custom hamster accessories and I would totally do this again if I was putting together a cage theme or something like that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and of course, if you make this DIY, let me know down in the comments.